Welcome to Infrastructure Updates, Episode 2. In our infrastructure series, we mainly concentrate on the infrastructure developments in India. So let's go into the episode. The first story is about INS Vikrant. It is designed by the Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design, DND. Vikrant has been built at the state-owned Cochin Shipyard Limited, CSL. Vikrant has put India in a select league with only the US, the UK, Russia, France and China, having the capability to build aircraft carriers. Most of the ship's construction activities have been completed and it has entered the trial phase. Readiness of the ship's propulsion and power generation equipment systems were tested in harbour as part of the basin trials in November 2020 the Navy said in a statement. The warship with a displacement of 37,500 tons will operate MiG-29K fighter jets, Kamav-31 helicopters, MH-60R multi-role helicopters, and the indigenous advanced light helicopters. This ship is a shining example of the nation's quest for Atmanirbhar Bharat, with more than 76% indigenous content. During the Independence Day this year, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that 75 Vande Bharat trains will be introduced connecting every corner of India in 75 weeks of Amrit Mahotsav of Independence. The Vande Bharat Express is an all-air-conditioned chair car service with premium aircraft-style comfort. It is the first of its kind engineless train set that runs on distributed traction. Vande Bharat has a speed potential of 160 km per hour and design speed of 180 km per hour. Gatkopar to Mankurd Bridge cuts half a ride to 3 minutes. Chief Minister of Maharashtra inaugurated a 2.9 km flyover connecting Veeramatha Jijabai Bosle Marg and Sion Panvel Highway. In the medical field, Mumbai gets its first next generation genome sequencing lab. This lab will help us to detect the mutated variants in early stages. Next up is Pune Metro. 60% of the work on Pune Metro Rail project has been completed and Maharashtra Metro Rail Corporation would speed up its work on the project. Pune Metro's first trial run on the route between Vanas and Ramwadi in Pune city was successfully carried out on Friday. The 5 km stretch trial run from the Vanas to Ideal Colony was flagged off by the Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Power. The world's highest motor travel road now is in India. The BRO completes the Umlingla Pass construction. The BRO constructed a black topped road at 19,300 feet. The BRO braved extreme and harsh terrain to make this possible. The most important town in eastern Ladakh, Chumar sector, will all be connected by this road which will come as a boon for the local population. Thank you for watching.